For 2025, the NC750X receives a much-deserved design update. A newly redesigned LED headlight, in particular, gives the front end a modern, distinctive look, while a sleek fairing and revised rear end add a sporty touch. The most obvious changes are a series of new bodywork, including a built-in windscreen and a new LED headlight. It's far from the coolest looking bike, but the changes are certainly an improvement. More importantly, a revised color palette comprises four new options. There's Earth Ivy Ash Green, Earth Black, Matte Pearl Glare White, and Fighting Red Graphite Black. In line with most of Honda's 2025 model year range, the redesigned NC750X gets a fresh 5-inch color TFT controlled by a new backlit toggle switch. As with the previous unit, Honda RoadSync smartphone connectivity is included. The keen-eyed will notice that it has an extra brake disc, with the old 320mm single disc replaced by a dual 296mm disc handled by a pair of twin piston calipers. The weight is offset by new cast aluminium wheels that save 1.8 kilograms. Rounding out the chassis are 41mm Showa dual-bending valve, IS DBV forks, and a ProLink monoshock with preload adjustment. Nothing has changed in the engine department, with the low-revving 745 cubic centimeter parallel twin, which is essentially half the engine in a Honda Jazz, retained. It produces 58 brake horsepower at 6,750 revolutions per minute, plus 50 pound-feet of torque at 4,750 revolutions per minute. The underseat fuel tank is also retained, meaning the tank in front of the rider still has 23 liters of luggage space. What's new is the gearbox. Well, sort of. There have been some revisions to the dual clutch transmission, DCT, which now estimates clutch oil pressure rather than using a sensor. It sounds complicated, but all you need to know is that it makes low speed operations smoother. You can specify the traditional manual gearbox if you wish.